And here is the third relationship between some of the state variables of a gas. In this case, it's known as Boyle's law. And Boyle was able to find the relationship between the pressure and the volume of a gas by keeping the temperature constant. So he set up a contraption, something that probably looked like this, uh, within a chamber where the temperature was kept the same in the chamber so that the gas would not change in temperature. He changed the state of the gas very, very slowly so that the temperature could always continue to be equalized. And what, what he would do is he would apply more force to something like a cylinder like this to, uh, when he pushed down on it, increase the pressure by, of course, remember that pressure is equal to force divided by area. So we have the cross-sectional area of the piston right here, and then the force uh, pushed down on the piston. By reducing the force, he reduced the pressure. By increasing the force, he, he increased the pressure, and he then calculated the change in the volume. Of course, when the piston was pushed down, the volume would decrease. As the piston was allowed to go up, the volume would increase. And he found there was this inverse relationship between the pressure and the volume, which is indicated here by this curve. We have pressure on the vertical axis, volume on the horizontal axis. Notice as the pressure is higher, volume is lower. Like so, if the pressure is lower, volume is higher. And so that is an equation that looks something like y equals some constant over x, or in the form of y equals 1 over x. Of course, we don't have a 1 there. We have some sort of constant. We have to find the constant of proportionality between pressure and volume to come up with an equation. So this ended up being something like this, that the pressure is equal to some constant divided by the volume. And of course, the key was to find out what that constant was. So now we have three relationships between um, uh, the three state variables. And in the next video, we'll go ahead and pull all those three combined. Uh, we'll combine those three relationships to come up with a single equation describing the relationship between pressure, volume, and temperature. And that would be the beauty of, this, uh, of these laws here. Okay, so hopefully this will help you understand the various ways in which they determine the relationship between the state variables, which we will then apply in the coming videos.